This method can help answer key questions in the field of root and rhizosphere science, such as how roots respond to localized patches of nutrients. The main advantages of this technique are that it allows repeated, non-invasive measurements of a single root system in soil, but it doesn't require specialized equipment and it's relatively inexpensive. Gather the parts for the rhizo box for assembly. These include front and back panels made of clear acrylic, about 40 centimeters by 61 centimeters. At this point, there are side and bottom spacers on top of the back panel. The spacers are aligned with previously drilled holes in the panels. Cut a length of polyester batting to go along the bottom of the rhizo box. Lay the batting on the back panel directly above the bottom spacer to help prevent leaking. Put the top panel in position on the spacers to hold the batting in place. Now get hardware to assemble the rhizo box. Use a screw, two washers, and hex nut for each of the drilled holes. Place a washer on the front panel and tighten a screw through it to the back panel, another washer, and the hex nut. To avoid soil loss, ensure that all of the screws are very tight. Also, create two spacers to form the treatment and control patches. Make them with high-density polyethylene sheets and secure a screw at the top to allow only partial insertion. For light deprivation and heat reduction, prepare a protective case that can enclose the box. Finally, build a frame to encourage roots to grow against the back panel.